The Challenge Pressed by the suitors to choose a, hus a husband from among them, Penelope says she will marry whomever can string Odysseus's bow and shoot an arrow through twelve axe handle sockets. The suitors try and fail. Still in disguise, Odysseus asks for a turn and gets it. And Odysseus took his time, turning the bow, tapping it, every inch for borings that termites might have made while the master of the weapon was abroad. The suitors were now watching him, and some jested among themselves. A bow lover, dealer in old bows. Maybe he has one like it at home, or has an itch to make one for himself. See how he handles it, the sly old buzzard. And one disdainful suitor added this. May his fortune grow an inch for every inch he bends it. But the man skilled in all ways of contending, satisfied by the great bow's look and heft, like a musician, like a harper, when, with quiet hand upon his instrument, he draws between his thumb and forefinger a new sweet string upon a peg. So effortlessly, Odysseus in one motion strung the bow, then slid his right hand down the cord and plucked it. So the taut gut, vibrating, hummed and sang a swallow's note. In the hushed hall, it smote the suitors, and all their faces changed. Then Zeus thundered overhead, one loud crack for a sign, and Odysseus laughed within him that the sun of crooked-minded Cronus, had flung that omen down. He picked one ready arrow from his table where it lay bare. The rest were waiting still in the quiver for the young men's turn to come. He knocked it, let it rest across the hand grip, and drew the string and, gro and grooved butt of the arrow. Aiming from where he sat upon the stool, now flashed arrow from twinging bow, clean as a whistle, through every socket ring, and grazed not one, to thud with heavy, brazened head beyond. Then quietly, Odysseus said, Telemachus, the stranger you welcomed into your hall has not disgraced you. I did not miss, neither did I take all day stringing the bow. My hand and I are sound. Not so contemptible as the young men say. The hour has come to cook the, their lordship's mutton, supper by daylight, other amusements later, with song and harping that adorn the feast. He dropped his eyes and nodded, and the prince Telemachus, true son of Odysseus, belted his sword on, clapped his hand to his spear, and with a clink and glitter of keen bronze, stood by his chair in the forefront near his father.